In this week's tutorial, we'll see how to colorize a black and white logo without having to make a selection. I'm Dave Cross. Sometimes in Photoshop, it can be challenging to make a selection of something. It looks like it might be pretty straightforward because it's just a black and white logo, but when you try to make that selection, you find little ghosts left over that don't look very good. So here's a method that allows you to colorize a black and white logo, a JPEG in particular, that doesn't involve making a selection. Now before I go too far, I want to tell you that this doesn't always work. There's a very particular set of circumstances that will lead to this working and it really comes down to it, is there enough contrast between the original logo you have and the new color you want. So as an example, here's the logo that I want to colorize. You can see it's just a black and white. Now I could try making a selection using color range and only getting the black, but if you've ever tried that, again, you'll probably find that there's ultimately always seems to be a tiny little fringe that you don't quite get. So here's the alternative. So what I need to do is think, say, let's say for example, I want it to be dark blue on a light blue background or something like that, where I've got the logo instead of being black is a dark color and the background instead of being white is a light color. And that's an example of the kind of circumstances that you have to have. If you wanted to do it, for example, a light blue logo on a dark background, it wouldn't work as well, but there's even a trick for that. All right, so let's start working on this. I wanna to go to fill, everything's set to normal. So the first thing I wanna do is let's change the background color to that light blue color. So let's go choose a color, I'm gonna pick a light blue color. Now, if I just clicked OK, it would fill the entire thing with light blue. So I need to tell it somehow only affect the light areas. In other words, the white everywhere. So I just changed the blend mode to darken. And the way this is going to work is because my foreground color is that light blue, light blue cannot darken black, but it can darken white. So when I click OK, just like that, all that is filled very nicely. Now I want to make my logo the dark blue color. So I go back to fill. And in this case, let's pick our darker blue. And let's think about how the way it's going to work. I don't want to affect the blue that's already there. If I chose darken, it would just darken the background. I want to change the black to a lighter color, which in this case is blue. So in this case, the blend mode is lighten. When I click OK, there we go. Now we have the two shades of blue for my logo. And the way we need to look at this is to look at not just the fact it's a black and white logo, but it's a dark logo on a light background. So if I want to change it to any two colors, I really ideally want to use a dark color on a lighter color. However, what if you do want it to be, no, I definitely want it to be on a dark background. Well, here's the approach I would take. I'm just going to step backwards by pressing Command Option Z or Control Alt Z till I get to this point. And if I think about it, say I do want a light colored logo on a dark background. Well, then a first step I would do would be press Command and Control I to invert the whole thing. Now I should have better success because I'm using a similar kind of a thing. It's already starting with a light logo on a dark background. So for example, we go to fill and we need to pick our color. So we want our background to be the dark blue. Let's actually use a different color just for the sake of argument. Let's use, I don't know, purple. Sure, why not? So purple cannot lighten white, but it can lighten black. So I click OK. Then I go back to fill. Let's pick a different color like a pale yellow. Click OK. And I want to change the blend mode to darken because I want to just darken the white. I click OK. And there we go. Now again, I want to point out it doesn't work in every circumstance, but here's the thing. It's so fast that it's worth trying. It took me longer here because I was explaining it, but once you know how it works, you can literally go pick a color fill, pick a color fill, and be done with it and not have to worry about making any kind of selection. So well, well worth trying, and as long as your circumstances work so that the colors have the same kind of contrast, then it's a very simple way to colorize a black and white logo without having to make a selection first. Please make sure to check in every week for another Tuesday Photoshop tutorial. My name's Dave Cross. If you like this video, I appreciate it if you would like it and share it. And you might want to also subscribe so you don't miss one every week here on YouTube with my Tuesday Photoshop tutorials. Thanks for watching. <music>